Hi guys, this is an intro to the next video. I made a couple of mistakes. Um, this is day four after my COVID vaccine and, and day four after being really, really sick. Um, I got my COVID vaccine on Thursday. On Friday, I was extremely sick. This is also kind of a little bit of a gripe about sleeping and a futon mattress. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about a uh, futon mattress and a few, a few things I need to do and a few changes I need to make. Um, I've already done the first video, but I made a mistake. It's not day three, it's day four after the COVID vaccine. Um, anyway, I woke up in a lot of pain this morning, so I'm going to talk about uh, the futon mattress. And um, anyway, I'm going to talk about the futon. I'm going to talk about a little bit about COVID, a little bit about the futon mattress, and that's pretty much going to be the gist of this video. And then I'm going to move on to the next video. I'm going to make a list of all the things I need to do. I talked about that in the last video, but I was all over the map. So this video, I'm going to try to, um, or, in the, or not this video, but in the next video, I'm going to try to get that straightened out a little bit and get a little, maybe get a little clearer um, on what I need to do. Anyway, um, so this is an intro, day four after COVID. I'm also, and also I'm going to talk about maybe sleeping a little bit better on a futon mattress. Anyway, um, on to the next video. Hi, it is day three after um, I got my COVID vaccine. I, as I said yesterday, I wasn't feeling, I still wasn't feeling good. I, we were able to get out yesterday and do a lot, go to Walmart. Um, we got a lot done yesterday. That probably exhausted me more than I thought, but it had to be done. Anyway, I woke up this morning, back pain, extreme back pain. Um, not my neck, thankfully, not my low back, thankfully, but in the right in the middle of my back, um, just really, 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 really bad, um, just awful. Anyway, um, I, I I think I I I I rolled over and laid on my back last night. Um, I'm sleeping on a futon, and I rolled over on my back, and it just anyway, I woke up in a lot of pain. Um, I remember years ago, I, years ago I lived with a guy and I slept, uh, on his futon and, um, kind of as a room, as a roommate. Anyway, um, well, first as a boyfriend, girlfriend, then we came, became roommates. But anyway, that's another story. So anyway, that's not the purpose of this, uh, video. Purpose of this video is partly COVID, partly, partly back pain, futon, mostly futon. This is going to be a complaint about the futon. Uh, my ex-husband bought a, a really good futon. He bought one of one of the better one of the best ones they had. Um, but it, and it's firm. It's very firm. It's on a metal frame. I read online that wooden frame is better. But anyway, so I woke up a lot of pain in my middle back, and part of it is because I rolled over onto my back. I think during the night, and that did me. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, not going to stop the video. Um, anyway, I also um, woke up yesterday morning with a sore throat. Um, last night I had sore throat and I was starting to get sore throat and earache. Well, I had sore throat and I was starting to get an earache. And then I woke up this morning with severe back pain. So I don't know how much is, again, after the COVID vaccine, I got sick, so sick I could barely stand or walk. And then yesterday, or the, or the day before, I started getting a little bit of sore throat the night before. Yesterday, sore throat, earache, to may, today, extreme back pain. So I don't know how much is uh, is how I'm sleeping um, versus COVID vaccine. I don't know how much is COVID, how much is how I'm sleeping. I don't know. You know, I, I, there's no way for me to know what percentage to apply to, to what. What I do know is that I, I'm going to have to make a few changes or try to make some changes on the futon to try to uh, make it sleep a little better. Um, one of those things I know, or at least from what I read online, is to add more comforters to try to make it, I guess, a little, I don't know if you want to make it softer or uh, give it more padding. Give it more padding, I guess, would be the correct uh, way to, to uh, the, the correct, what they're talking about. Um, the other thing, and I did this years ago when I lived with um, 
Uh, his name's Barry. Um, when I lived with Barry, I put, um, uh, he suggested a place, a foam, a, you know, a, a fabric type place, fabric foam place, anyways. Um, and I got the dimensions, and anyway, I bought some foam. I don't remember how thick it was, maybe inch and a half, two inches, I don't remember now. It wasn't overly expensive because at this particular uh, 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 shop, uh, they I just went in with the dimensions and they cut it and I um, anyway then I we I came home and uh, one of his sons helped me put it under the under the futon mattress and it helped it definitely helped it was not as good as it could be but it definitely helped so I know I got to make a few changes um, I've got I bought three pillows yesterday I do want to maybe buy another pillow because I I took the pillows off the futon because as I had stated before. Um, I think in my last video, I'm putting the pillows um, against the wall because right now I don't have any furniture. Um, we only have these old patio outside uh, camping chairs. So I bought um, pillows. Anyway, um, at, um, at, the, at the fabric shop, they uh, they took my dimensions and cut me some um, uh, foam, which I put under the futon. Like I said, it helped uh, for a little while, but he had a, probably a cheaper futon mattress. My ex-husband bought a pretty good futon mattress, at least I think. Anyway, um, it cost, it cost quite, quite a bit of money. Anyway, um, so, uh, oh, and that said, uh, right now all I have is patio chairs or camping, camping chairs is all I have in the house. We're looking around for something else, but we haven't found anything. I can't afford to right now to buy brand new furniture, so we've got to rely on like thrift stores, Goodwill, etc. And so we've been looking around, but we just you know. And anyway, for a while, my ex-husband didn't have it didn't have the truck. Well, as you know from a, a, a earlier video, my truck is is done pretty much. Although we're still able to drive it, it's just that. You know, getting it registered and tagged is not we're not going to be able to do. But anyway, that's a that's also that's, a, that's another story too. Uh, today, like I said in the very first uh, video, which and I made a mistake it's day four, is that uh, after the COVID vaccine, is that this is about the futon. Um, so since I read online that um, adding more comforters is supposed to add more padding um, that's going to be one of my first stops will be go to the well we have to go back to the goodwill today anyway because my ex-husband bought an Amish heater and he's also going to use the Amish heater as a uh, TV stand so we're gonna do do that um, so he's got to go pick that up and he bought a table that I can set my food on at night when I eat. And I do sit on the camping chair for a while when I'm watching TV. It's just that I can't sit on it for many hours. And there's a, some other things I want to try to do today to keep moving. Um, uh, anyway, um, as I was explaining yesterday, I bought three pillows. I do want to maybe find another pillow. So one of the things is when we go back to the Goodwill, I found some outer shirts, but outer shirts, wearing, you know, clothing. But, um, to, um, when we go back to the um, Goodwill, I'm going to look and see if they've got any more comforters, uh, something to, you know, just see what I can do. Add a little more, a little more um, padding underneath what I've already got, because my ex-husband bought one thing, It's like, a, and it's a nice cover, or it's a nice um, piece, you know, to, to, to help protect, the, uh, the futon has a cover, but he bought something else, like a, it's like kind of like a blanket type thing. Um, to cover that, and then we put, he just put a regular, like I said, he came in the day I was sick, he just ran to the Goodwill and grabbed a couple things, and, and it's working, um, and it's great, I love it, but I'm going to add, I'm going to look for some more um, comforters to put on underneath the futon to see if um, that will help me sleep a little better, um, you know, almost, and I probably won't find that much. I'll probably only find like one. So I'm, I'm looking at maybe only buying one at a time, one or two at a time, whatever I can find. Um, also, um, I'm gonna look for maybe another pillow. I took the pillows off my off the bed last night, or futon, you know, off the bed, and laid them in a corner. And I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna maybe leave them stacked up behind me to see if 
that will prevent me from rolling over um, or, or rolling over onto my back. I, because when when I'm you know when I'm out, you know whatever when I'm out on the road or I'm out camping or whatever, and if I'm in if I'm in a vehicle and I go to sleep in the front seat, I don't roll over that much. I do I do some, but a lot of times I'll sleep all night in one position. So. But sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, um, you know, I um, actually sleep on my back, and it's a little harder even in a car. And and but but the seats are very hard. And I think I complained about this uh, before in in the car. The, the lumbar support in, or maybe I did it. Maybe it was on my forum uh, when I was talking to the ladies. But anyway, um, the lumbar support in the driver's seat is very 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 good but the lumbar support and the passenger seat is not so good so anyway I don't know that's whatever um, and I was kept looking for something you know to, to make it a little better in the in the car seat and I added a comforter and that helped tremendously in, in the car so I'm gonna look for another comforter or rather or rather several more comforters but I, like I said, I'll probably only be able to get one or two at a time. I'm also going to, today's Memorial Day, so uh, there's not anything I'm going to be doing today uh, as far as, uh, you know, other than uh, going to the thrift store, looking for a comforter, more, maybe some more comforters, uh, picking up the furniture that my ex-husband already purchased, and maybe going to the, back to the store. Walmart was really chintzy. They didn't have a lot of pillows. So I'm going to probably stop by Big Lots and see if they have any pillows and try to pick up another pillow. I've got three and that's really enough to go behind my back. And as I stated uh, yesterday, I, I'm putting the pillows on the futon so I can lean up against them to watch TV at night because it's more comfortable than sitting in a camping chair for hours. So I still sit in the camping chair for a while, but not as long, and I can sit on the futon, at the end of the futon, and um, I lean up against the pillows, and that's pretty comfortable, uh, because I can lean the pillows up against the wall behind me, as you can see. Anyway, so, but and three is more than enough. If I do more than that, um, my feet are going to hang off of the end of the futon, which I don't want. But anyway, um, but I'm thinking of a fourth pillow only to try to maybe, uh, you know, add some, some more stuff behind my back so that, or up against the wall. So I maybe uh, discourage my, you know, discourage my myself from rolling over onto my back in the middle of the night. I don't know if that'll work. It doesn't really work in a car. I don't have a lot of room in a car. But anyway, so that said... Um, that's pretty much what um, I'm going to do today is concentrate on trying to make my futon a l or make the futon a little better, a little more comfortable to sleep on. Um, today, I also got a fitness pad yesterday, so I'm probably going to try to do, which I will lay on the floor. I tried doing my exercises on the futon, and I know the the, the physical therapist told me to do, and and I hurt a lot more. So um, I'm going to probably try to do a few. I have, I can lay the fitness pad on the floor try to do that, see what, what I can get done there. Um, I have a little bit of laundry I have to finish today. Um, so it's like we got to go to the thrift store, pick up some stuff. i got to concentrate on the futon. I've got laundry to put away. Uh, my ex-husband said something about going to the, the Veterans Memorial Park today. Um, they always serve like dinner for the, vet or for the vets anyway, so he said something about going there today. Um, anyway, and let's see what else. Um, that's going to be about it. Um, I've got to go outside. I, I'm going to go outside a little bit later and start my car. And I'll probably maybe start on the next video. Right now, this is this is this video and this is it. Just constant the futon vaccine day four, and and um, futon. That's it. This is all this video is going to be about. Anyway, um, let's see what else. Uh, pretty much the futon. That's going to be it for today. That's that's the main focus. And then there's going to be a little, a lot of little side focuses like uh, I got to do laundry, pick up some stuff from the Goodwill, but that's kind of a twofold uh, thing. Um, um, the car that was in the shop for so many months, I'm going to go deal with that a little bit later. I start it, we have to start it up every couple days until we can get the battery cable fixed and I can go forward with that and see what's going on. 
Uh, let's see what else. Uh, put, put away my laundry. Oh, and I also bought a storage bin yesterday. Um, and I will probably get to that a little bit later. And we bought bath mat for the bathroom. Bath, I mean, the shower in the bathroom. Um, there's just a few things, and I'll go over that a little bit later, too, in another video. But um, I don't want to make these videos too long, so I'm going to concentrate on that and probably organize a few outfits. Do, so, I'm, But I'm going to take it slower than I did yesterday. And I drank coffee yesterday, and that was a no-no because it kind of prob I probably didn't sleep as good, and I kind of stayed awake. So anyway, so for today, um, I'm, just, I'm getting ready to start my day here soon and figure out what I'm going to do for the day, mostly concentrate on the futon. Anyway, that's anyway that's it for this video. Um, I'll be back later in another video to talk about probably the fitness pad, show you some of the things I've done uh, as far as the house goes, and I'm shaking the video. Anyway, um, that said, hope everyone has a good Memorial Day weekend. God bless. Peace.